Hey what's up, hello, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emma and if you're not new here, then my name is still Emma. Today, this video, I've been working on this whole concept for like three months, maybe not like full time obviously. Basically, this video, well this one in itself, is tourist hotspots in New Zealand. So basically from Cape Reinga to Wellington, everything there is. And all of these ideas and places and food places and everything were all given to me for this video by you guys. So by my Instagram followers, I put little things up on my story um, with little ask me a question things and you guys gave me all these ideas. So I'm going to go through and read them all out to you guys. I will have to just ramble them off unfortunately because if I sat here and spoke about all of them I would be here for days. And I would just like to apologise in advance for my pronunciation. It can be quite poor at the best of times. So just bear with me. And yeah, let's get straight into this. First area that we have is Whangarei slash Northland. So basically from north of Auckland right to the top of New Zealand. Whangarei Town Basin, Whangarei Falls, Bay of Islands, Paihia, especially for skydiving and parasailing apparently. The Treaty of Waitangi, Matapuri, Mermaid Pools are also Matapuri. Russell, Kawakawa where there's really cool toilets and apparently the best butter chicken in New Zealand. The far north, so like way up north. Omaha, Matakana, Kiri Kiri, Langs Beach, Waipu Caves and Waipu Cove, Waipu Glamping, Ruakaka, Beji or Titi Beach, Tafranui Peninsula, Go Island, really good for snorkeling. 90 Mile Beach, Tane Mahuta Tree, Kaiwi Lakes, Padua Bay, Patawa Bridge Jump, Paul Knights Islands Daily Cruise, Cape Reinga, which is also where two oceans meet, which is the, like the very no most northern point of New Zealand. And there's also a cool lighthouse there. Tutakaka, Paroa Falls, Kaipara Harbour, Stay at Birch Grove Cottage, my auntie owns that place, pretty cool. That's in Whangarei. Whale Bay, Doug Vukumra Farm, Biggest Greenstone in New Zealand, Fudge Farm, Ice Cream Shop, Bennett's Chocolate in Mangafai, the Monga Nui Fish Shop in Doubtless Bay, Manu Bakery in Whangarei, and Kappa Cakes in Whangarei as well. So next up we have Auckland, the biggest city in New Zealand if you're watching this from overseas. So here we have Eden Park, which is where like most of the All Blacks games and stuff are played. Rainbow Zen, only theme park in New Zealand. Sky Tower, Devonport, Auckland Museum, Britomart, Mission Bay, The Zoo, Viaduct and Silo Park, Night Markets, Volcanoes, so Mount Eden, Rainy Toto, Piha, Bethel's Beach, Murawai, Takapuna Beach, Browns Bay, Long Bay, Territory Martini, good for bird watching. My parents just got back from there, it looked incredible. They saw like a Kiwi like in real life. Hibiscus Coast, Harbour Bridge, Waiheke for vineyards and beaches, Dress Mountain, only hunger, good outlet shopping there. Kelly Talton, Tolly Molly, which is our team. One Tree Hill, Waitakere Rangers, Motat Boat Museum, Manukau Heads Lighthouse, Newmarket Westfield, which is fully open now, which is, like looks insane. Civic Theatre to watch a show, Spark Arena for concerts and shows, Crystal Mountain, Jump Off the Wharf at Maraitai, Pineau Gardens, Bastion Point, Howard for thrifting, Chelsea Sugar Factory, Duck Duck Goose Cafe, Kura Japanese Restaurant, absolute favourite restaurant of all time, Best Ugly Bagels, Oko Dessert Bar, Fraser's Cafe, Little Bird Un Bakery, Giapo Ice Cream, Dr. Rudy's Rooftop Bar, Smoothie Bowl and Takapuna, Daikoku for Tepanyaki, oh my god. Archie's Brothers in Newmarket, Major Sprout Cafe, Little and Fridays, Krispy Kreme Donuts. Auckland is known for bad traffic, temperamental weather, window washes, terrible house prices, and it's always busy. So next up we have the Coromandel. This is like Auckland and stuff, and then there's like a little peninsula that goes there to the side. And that is the Coromandel Peninsula, which is basically just filled with beach towns, and it's incredible. So New Year's capital of Auckland, sunsets, surf shops, top of the Coromandel slash Port Jackson. Waikawao Camping, Waititi Bay, Fletcher Bay, Swimming, Pinnacles Walk, Sailor's Grave Crystals, Castle Rock, Furutoa, Fulamata, which is like literally my favourite beach. There's a Clark Island Walk at low tide, four person bikes, Donut Island, best for surfers, iconic surfboard photo, beach hop, trip to Sunnies, went with Valley Walk, Mum's Corner Store and Ikele Store, heaps of cute cafes like Blackies, Port Road Project Vibe 646, Boating Club for a feast, you may need a membership to get in there but worth it, Real Fruit Ice Cream and then Oni Mani, you can drive out to the point which looks back over Fulamata, Pottery is partially at the Nildish Beach, so be careful there. Pawanui, the estuary with the bridge to jump off, biking around the red roads, walking up the mountain. Tyro is a crystal stone shop, Mount Pack Walk and Tikaro Bay. Hot water beach, you can dig holes in the sand and then the holes fill up with hot water, but be careful because it can be a very dangerous surf beach. Ha ha, there's Cathedral Coast kayaks, which I've done incredible. The Cathedral Cove Walk, where you can see where Narnia was filmed, and there was also a Macklin Mall video filmed there as well. Genstone Bay for snorkeling. Cook's Beach is good for snorkeling. The Shakespeare Cliff scenic historic preserve. Fitianga has the Fitty Park Farm which is like good for little kids. Lost Springs Bar, Hub of the Coromandel so it's like the most established. They've got like a warehouse and stuff like that. That curry place went there. Honestly I know that place said Northland it's got the best butter chicken but the curry at this place was so good. The butter chicken oh my 
so good. Kuatunu, there is ice cream at Luke's Kitchen, which apparently has really good pizza, like so many people commented that. Apito Bay and Crayfish Bay. Matarangi, you can go out to the Mercury Islands. Whangapawa, there's New Chums Beach, where you can walk over to. Coromandel Township, the Waterworks, Fish and Chip Shop, Driving Creek Railway, Pippa Araha Beach, which is like 20 minutes north. And then there's Pyro, which is 30 minutes south of Thames, and that's the home of LMP. And there's like a massive lemon and pyro bottle there as well. And then there's lots of beaches and bushwalks, water holes, bike riding, fishing, and then there's car sickness if you're like that. Because there's a lot of windy roads connecting these towns together. Next up we have Waikato slash Hamilton. Hampton Downs Racetrack, good for go-karting if there's nothing else going on there. Walk around Lake Rotoroa. The zoo, lime scooters, Lake Carapero for rowing and water sports. Hamilton Gardens, a base shopping centre. Raglan, which is 40 minutes out of Hamilton. Bridal Vale Falls, Blue Springs, walk ice cream from Duck Island Ice Cream. Waterworld, Blueberry Picking, Cambridge for lots of small shops, antiques and coffee. Mount Parongia Walk, Ochahonga Kiwi House. Yardley's Bush and Taumutu. Hobbiton and Matamata. Matter. Punnett, Two Birds Cafe, Sugar Bowl Cafe, One Road Ice Cream Company in T-Rail, Kuplin's Donuts, so good, and Gothenburg. Next up we have Taronga slash Mount Monganui. Walk up slash around the mount would definitely recommend that if you do nothing else. Copenhagen Cones, Bayfair for shopping, Papamoa Hills, McLaren Falls, Pilot Bay for stand-up paddle boarding, Omanu Beach, Mount Hot Pools, Papamoa Beach, Volleyball Festivals like Bay Dreams, which are obviously 18 plus, Waihe Beach, an hour's drive from the mount, Leisure Island Walk, which is also a blowhole on that island, the Library Pizza Co, Sidetrack Cafe, Me and You Cafe, Cafe 88, and Revive apparently has good smoothies. And then we go into Rotorua, which is kind of like the Queen's Town of the North Island. Skyline Gondola, Red Wolf Forest, Mountain Biking, and Treetops walk, mud pools, Polynesian spa, agro domes or balls, whitewater rafting, the lakes, geysers and bubbling mud pools. You can indulge in the Māori culture there too. Each street, Rainbow Springs, Fairy Springs, Government Gardens, 3D Trick Art Gallery and Rotorua stinks like smells so bad. But you get used to it once you're there. Taupo and the Central Plateau. Taupo is like a massive lake essentially. It's massive. It's huge. Hooker Prawn Park, Bully Point, Hooker Falls, Debritz Hot Pools, Hole in One on the lake, Crates of the Moon, McDonald's Plain, Kinloch, Acacia Bay, Rapid Jets, River Cruise, Tongariro Alpine Crossing, Mount Ropehu for skiing slash snowboarding, Whakapapa Ski Field, Oakuni with the giant carrot, parasailing, Māori carvings on the lake, Three Mile Bay, Saturday Markets, hashtag I love Topol sign on the waterfront, bungee jump and skydive. Next up we have Gisborne, R&V for New Year's which is obviously 18 plus, Rudy Rock Slide, Surfing, Kaiti Hill Walk, Eastwood Hill, Snorkeling at the Marine Reserve, Feeding the Stingrays, Morari Hot Springs, Wainui Beach. Gisborne is the first part of New Zealand to see the sun so it's the most eastern point of New Zealand, like of the mainland. Next up we have Hawke's Bay, Smarta Peak, which is basically where you can see like everything from up there. Napier Botanics Gardens, Splash Planet obviously only in the summer. The Aquarium in Napier, Vineyards, Marine Parade, Ocean Spa, Art Deco Buildings in Napier, Mahia, Bluff Hill Lookout, Shine Falls, Gannet Colony in Clifton, Havelock North is really cute and boutique. Farmyard Zoo, apparently good for little kids. Pixie Bowls, Happy Clean, Kai Co-op, and Black Barn Vineyard. Then we have Taranaki. So we have Back Beach, Coastal Walkway, Wind Wand, Pukekura Park, Festival of Lights, Mountain Walk, Stratford, which all the street names are named after Shakespeare characters if you're into that. The Glockenspiel, which is also in Stratford, Womad in March, beaches which are good for surfing, Stony Oaks, Black Sand Beaches, Opanaki Beach, and Tarewarewa Bridge. Then we go into the Manawatu and Whanganui, the Manawatu Gorge Walk, the elevator that goes through, I think it's Jury, Dury, Jury, no, Jury, Jury, Jury Hill and Tower, Whanganui River Market, Virginia Lake Winter Gardens, Canoe down the Whanganui River, count the bull signs as you're driving through bulls, there's a lot of them, Kofi Park, Bushy Park, and Whangamomona. Last but not least, we have Wellington, Mount Victoria to Papa Museum, Walk the Waterfront, Rent a Crocodile Bike, Zealandia Eco Sanctuary, apparently good for bushwalks, Cuba Street, Cable Car, Wellington Botanic Gardens, Castle Point, Weta Workshop. It's the capital of New Zealand, you can visit the Beehive, which is like the Parliament Building, which looks like a beehive, Oriental Bay, Orkey Crescent Lookout, Wellingwood Sign, which is like the Hollywood Sign, but it says Wellington and shocker, I know. The Whale Show in September slash October, Lyle Bay, Island Bay, Pakakariki Escarpment Track, Waterfront Markets, Wainui Amata Pool with a water slide that goes through the bush like a hydro slide. Why can I beach boardwalk and Wellington is very windy. That's also where you catch the ferry from the North Island to the South Island. So yeah, that is everything. This video is going to be very long and I apologize for that. But the one for the South Island will be coming very shortly. That is everything, like all the hot spots in New Zealand that you guys told me about. So this is 
stuff about New Zealand from New Zealanders, from locals. I've well, tried and tested it. I haven't tried and tested all these places myself, but I trust that you guys are not stitching me up here. I hope that you guys can get on some adventures. If I miss anything, please feel free to comment it down below and make sure you put where it was, so where the place is or where the food place or whatever is so that people know what you're talking about apart from that thank you guys so much for watching if you made it so far please give this video a big thumbs up if you're new here um subscribe if you haven't already i am a new zealander go figure so if you want some more like new zealand type vlogs then i'm i'm the person who supplies those thank you guys so much for watching make someone smile and i'll see you in my next video I've never been able to figure that out my whole entire life. Beach, bridge, beach, bridge. Feliz Navidad. Merry Christmas. Feliz Navidad.